we're going to do today, weld OLED. You tell them the difference between OLED and weld OLED. Well, you tell them, smarty pants. All right, so the difference between a weld OLED and OLED. You see this? Now, if you look right here, this is a weld OLED. It means you can weld a two inch piece of pipe to it. You can use a two inch weld OLED straight to it as a butt weld. Now, an OLED, <coughs> you got a ring inside of it, or a socket weld, so two inch to go down inside. Well, weld OLED. Butt weld, socket weld, or an OLED. Call Trey something new today. I just call them all weld OLED. Not all weld OLED. Weld OLED. They're all welded. They are all welded, but they're not all weld OLED. I don't know. I'm going to have to look OLED. this up. I'll have to look it up. I'm going to look it up in my book. All right. Uh, Nick just gave y'all a shot. Uh, we got our, our line marked out. I'm going to show y'all a couple tricks that um, I picked up over my years. Uh, if you got a Sharpie, that's great. If you don't have a Sharpie, take you a jig wire, 332, 18, 532, whatever. You can sharpen it to a point. If you see real close here, you got a, uh, you got a, it's really hard to see on this one, but you have a dip in this, in this weld let here. You got a little belly. So we call that the saddle. I'm going to set that on there to where it's saddled to the pipe. <clears throat> um, like I said, if you don't have a Sharpie, you can sharpen a piece of TIG wire. And you can literally take this thing and scribe the inside of it. And then once you get you a line, you can take a little <clears throat> center finder, whatever, it takes a little punch out of it and you know, make you some hard marks so for when you cut, you don't lose your line. <clears throat> um, a lot of places make the little spring-loaded clickers now, so you don't actually have to use it with a hammer. I'm still a little old school because I learned from a lot of old footage. So, that's a good little trick to know. Uh, not everybody carries a Sharpie on them. So, Trey, talk to them a little bit about the gas pressure and stuff like that. We set the torch on in the bottle. So, right now we have oxyacetylene. We got the acetylene set at uh, 125. No, I'm just kidding at uh, about 10 PSI, and then we got the oxygen about four times that, so about 40 to 50 on the oxygen, about 10 on the acetylene, don't ever go any higher than 15. So Why you have- go higher than, that, higher than 15? It's just un it's unstable. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. Yeah. So what we have here, I'm sure you guys know what a torch is. You got your high pressure, you got your cut, and then you got your fine adjustment here for the for the valve. Oh. Hey, when y'all are spraying that spray foam, it sounds like somebody's using a bathroom up there. Can y'all be quiet a little bit? Sorry, we got some renovations going on. I don't know if y'all could hear that earlier, but. You guys hear us okay? Can everybody hear us okay? Need to go a little bit higher than that. I'd go a little bit higher than that. What? We're gonna do some giveaways today. What's everybody wanna have? What? Y'all write in the comments what you want. I tell you what. Go on our website at scotsmantools.com and pick an item and put it in the comments and we'll do a giveaway oh we forgot to pray all right let's go to the lord in prayer lord thank you for this day and this time together and i pray you bless our families keep us safe keep us healthy and i pray that you continue to bless this school and and the people that come here you keep them safe and your name we pray amen
preacher's burning the paint off right now, huh? Hey, this weekend, or next weekend, two, the 16th of May, we have our open house. We're going to have crawfish. We're going to have a uh, weld competition, a high school weld competition. So make sure you guys come out for that. It's free. All you got to do is show up. We're going to have giveaways. It's on a Saturday, and it's the 16th of May, high school weld competition. So if you're in high school and you want to learn how to pipe weld, you need to come out because people who participate, if, as long as you just participate in this competition, you're going to get money off tuition just for participating. You're going to get a partial scholarship. So make sure you come out and participate. Where are you going to start at? I'm going to start in the center. I'm going to heat it up. <coughs> what about those? <coughs> this schedule, 46 inch. Hey, why didn't that fall in? How'd you get that to stick there? Mine always just mine always just fall right through. Oh, yours don't. I don't know how you got that to stay in that hole, but mine always just fall right through. You need to teach me how to do that. Oh, the open house is here. 715 St. Emmanuel, Mobile, Alabama. I think it's from 10, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. No, we did that last night. We're going to give away some hats and some spring loader two hole pins and some pipe welder Bibles. Maybe a black mamba. You'll get to see the black mamba tonight. We're going to be welding with it. All right, so he's cut the hole. You going to clean this up? I don't know. I don't do that. <laughs> All right, so if you want to if you want us to do a special giveaway or if you got something that you're wanting from our tool company, go to our website and share it in the comments, something you want us to give away, something you're wanting to something you want to have. We have tungsten sharpeners, we have fitting tools, we have welding TIG torches, everything. No, nah, so there's somebody asked if we were putting the open house online. Uh, nope, probably not. Yeah, Snapchat or uh, TikTok or uh, what else have we got? Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, we got a Twitter. All right, so if you're just tuning in, we're doing an OLED, a weld OLED, and uh, we're fitting it up right now. He set this on here and scribed it, and we're getting ready to finish cleaning this up, get this thing ready for welding. And we'll tack it up and root it out. And I'll root one side, he'll root the other, and uh, mine will be better. Yeah, I can do that.
Hey, you can come over here and I'll show them about this. So we we got a gold level endorsement from Sagia. We're partnered with all these companies. They pull from our students, hire them. They get, you know, privileged. If uh, somebody who went to another to another school that's not a part of this alliance, they would choose our student over them. So, so we're definitely going to be giving away some uh, hats. There's an Alabama Pipe Welders Academy hat. A Scotsman Tools hat, number one gunslinger. Um, some spring-loaded two-hole pins. Be giving that away. And we're probably going to be giving away some pipe welder Bibles, too. You got to share the video while it's live, though. So make sure you share the video right now. So we had a request to do an OLIT or a weld lit how to fit it up, weld it, all that. So that's what we're doing tonight. Can you screenshot that and put it in the comments? Yeah, screenshot it, put it in the comments. Somebody said they want an orange head. All right, guys, you make sure you share it right now while we're live. You can't win any of the giveaways unless you share this while we're live. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and go ahead and guess your numbers, uh, one through a hundred. So you got to share this video while it's live and go ahead and guess right now your number 1 through 100. What you doing now, Austin? The gap rod. What, what size gap rod are you going to use? 532. So we're going to gap this with a 532. Need some uh, masking tape. Should be some on the blue mill, I mean the, the red Milwaukee. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a way how I how I like to fit these up sometimes. I'll, I'll clean this up, the bottom where the saddle is. I'll get a nice uh, sharp knife edge on there, and then I'll take some masking tape, and I'll lay masking tape on it, and I'll take my hammer and run around the edge. And once I run around the edge, I can peel off. There'll just be that you know, the OLED hole right there, I'll take that piece of tape off and line up the centers, and I can line it up just perfect. You need some help? You're gonna clean this?
So we got these, this is what we're gonna weld this with tonight, this black Mamba, lifetime warranty. Custom leather handle, real lightweight and flexible. Lightweight. We're not saying it's gonna last forever, we're just saying when it does break, you can trade it in for a new one. Last TIG rig you'll ever own, right there. We're almost sold out, so if you want one, you better get it now. It'll be a week or so before we get them back in stock. We got some gray heads and some red heads. Flex heads, they're flex heads with a gas valve here. Lifetime warranty. Fitting up this OLED. So we have a one of our practicals, one of our real worlds. One of our real worlds in this in the school is to do this. You have to show us you can do this. You have to fit it up, cut it out, and weld it. So you'll have to do this a couple times while you're in school. I didn't learn this until I got out on the field. So it's it's you know a lot of schools don't teach this. We do though. Do you have a level out here, Fitter? You don't have a level. All right, well, I, I mean, I'm yeah, well, it needs to be level coming off of the pipe. <coughs> no. Somebody asked if it comes with gas lenses and cups, and no, it just comes with the torch head. What is this? We're out of gas. Can somebody give me a bottle? It's anyway, it's about to run out of gas, but whatever. It comes in 250. All right, where do you want me to take it? Down here? Yes, sir. You gonna hold it? heat on now. About 100. Okay. Is it on stick? Good job. What the heck, man? Well, it's all hooked up to the ground. What am I gonna do with it? Y'all are supposed to have all this stuff set up. Are you sure it's connected back there? Yeah. 
We got a question. For what? What do you guys recommend for plugging holes other than copper and aluminum? I'm not real sure about that question. He want to know what if what do we recommend for plugging holes? You red eye? Hey, is somebody hitting my wire? The cameraman is, probably. Yeah, hey, why don't you quit hitting me? You ain't bug that wall down there. Do what? You ain't bug that wall down there. We had a question if the Black Mamba could be ran on a uh, 300 Dynasty. Yes, it can. What do we have over there right now? Do what? Turn your gas off, sir. It's on empty. Where's that crescent wrench? Hold the bottle. Gas. All right. I'm just bridge tacking it. I'm gonna cut these out. I'm not. I'm not like making. You got a little gap over here. Well. Got a little this way. Get get that hammer over there. So a lot of times on these, if you got a you got a number 12 cub, you're gonna have to pull your tungsten out pretty far and turn the gas up. Well, whatever is easiest for you. Winter schools open back up in the state of Alabama. That's our question, sir. Uh, I think the schools are open back up on the, I don't know, they haven't made a decision yet. Somebody turn me up.
You better start back there. However you want to weld it. You want to roll it to the side? Well, you you got to root your your half first. So we leave it like this. Are we going? So you want to go half this way or half this way? It doesn't matter. Tell them, tell them what's most important. So in here, the, the main thing on these OLEDs, if it's x-ray, is you want to tie in your two edges. You want to make sure that you break down the wall of the pipe right there. It's tied in to the inside wall of the OLED, or the weld OLED. If you're not tied into the weld OLED and the pipe edge, then it's not going to pass x-ray or UT, whatever they decide to do on it. So you see that? You see that edge right there? You see where my finger's pointing? The bottom of the, the top edge of the pipe and the bottom edge of the weld outlet. So we're getting ready to root this. Trey, we got online classes. We don't have a, we don't have online classes, so to speak. What we have is all the classroom work and all the tests is online. So you know when you come to school here. Is 100% hands-on training. Watch your back. But most, you know, most schools, you're going to have to do some classwork. Not here. If you do your classwork, you do it at home. Will you just stand right there so the sparks don't hit me in the back? The cameraman, I swear. Where'd our jumper go? Our, this we need. A, a, there's a jumper on top of the art gouging machine. Can you go get it? It's orange. Yeah. You don't want to roll it to the side. All right, so we're going to do some giveaways. Make sure you share the video while we're live. If you don't share the video while it's live, then you, you're not eligible. And then you got you got to pick a number, one through 100, one through 100. We're going to give away some spring-loaded two-hole pins, some hats, some number one gunslinger hats, some Alabama Pipe Welders Academy hats, and a Bible, the Pipe Welders Bible. This thing has videos, so all the tests. It has like 30 something weld tests in here from all over the country and the, some of the tests on the back page it has the videos the QR code so you can go watch us do you know weld and give you tips and tricks on that actual test it's got numbers in the back of that book for contractors if you're trying to find a job So, yeah, it's a full pin weld. Somebody asked if this is a full pin weld. Yes, it is. This isn't a fillet weld. All right, what you got?
Well, that's not bad. You can kind of see Ark shot. Kind of see what he's doing. I think we got another question. Yeah, you can just respond to him, yes. Gonna cut all the tax out. All right, watch your eyes for the people here. So basically, a weld OLED is if you got a tie-in for like a header or something. You know, this will be a open butt weld, and then you tie in. This is a six to two. We're going to give away some Scotsman spring-loaded two-hole pins, Pipe Welder's Bible, and some hats today. Pipe Welder Academy hats. But you got to share this video while it's live. If you don't share the video and comment while it's live, then you're not eligible. And pick a number. Go ahead and write your number down, 1 through 100. Pick a number. We've already wrote down a number. Who out there is ready to go back to school? Hey, while they're while he's welding, don't put the lens in front of it so he, they can kind of see him. You can do the lens and without the lens so they can see his hand movements and everything. So if you come to our school, we teach you this. You know, this is part of the school. A lot of schools don't teach this. You gotta learn this when you get out in the field. Um, so, you know, you'll have to do this several times. You'll have to fit it all the way up. You have to do the fit, you have to cut it, and you'll have to weld it. Oh, that's the arm pad. Somebody asked what this, that's an arm pad for welding, you know, if you're welding on hot pipe like chrome and stuff. Hot welds. Oh, okay, the the phone number of the school is on the back of my shirt. If you if you want to if you want to come to the open house, go to our Facebook page. RSVP. We know that uh COVID's going on. We are going to have a crawfish bowl. We're going to be practicing you know, social distancing. We're gonna do the weld competition. We're gonna have giveaways. We're gonna give away some welding machines. And that's the 16th of May, so make sure you come. Make sure you come, it's on a Saturday, 10, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
door prizes. High school weld competition. The winner gets a full scholarship to our school. A full scholarship. Last year's full scholarship winner finished in like 12 weeks, went straight to work for Maccabee. What, what was that? Was that a was that a foul on the inside of the pipe? No, I. Th All right, I guess it's my turn. Here, you want to take this and talk to people? No, we offer a whole lot of different style programs. Trey's right. If you're 16 and you 16, 17, you're about to finish up high school, or maybe high school's just not for you, and you want to come up here and go through our program, 16 weeks, you could easily do it. Probably from the time school ends to the time it starts back, you come in here and really bust your butt and get it done, pick up what we teach. I got you on 150, Trey. That's it. It's as hot as I could go. I wasn't welding downhill, though, so it's all good. Um, if y'all could see when, uh, while, while I was welding, I think Nick got some close-up shots of me. I did. I went from center both right and left, as if I was in a 6G position. Um, I welded both right-handed and left-handed. It's another thing we help you go through here at this school. It's kind of teaching you how to get comfortable with your offhand. A little bit. I didn't stick my tungsten, not once. We'll, we'll see how Trey does. We're going we're gonna to keep record today. Y'all can kind of see what he's doing right now. He's keeping that wire to the back side of that, <clears throat> of that OLED and to where he can just kind of back feed that entire thing. That helps him get good reinforcement and allows him to see as a welder that he is breaking them walls down and allowing that metal to really sink in and break them edges down, both the OLED and the pipe. Weld OLED, I'm sorry. Again, we got some giveaways laid out here on the table. Um, arm pad not included. Trey's a big fan of this thing. Um, again, to win our giveaways, you have to go and share the video while we're live. We're going to give a cutoff time towards the end of the video. If you share it after that point, you won't be eligible to win our giveaways. Um, we're doing some fight water Bibles, some hats. You know, every day we're giving stuff away here. We're, we're trying to make having to stay at home fun and entertaining. We want y'all to keep joining in. Me and Trey's having a lot of fun. Uh, I'm enjoying spanking him from time to time. He did get me on the 6010 downhill, both speed and quality. I get a mitt when I lost.
We got a question about a magnetic ground tray. Do we have magnetic grounds? Yeah, I tell you, they work good if you can keep them clean, but they eventually start to arc out, so you'll have to take your file and dress. You have to take your file and dress them every once in a while because they do get arc marks, and then that starts to grow, and does the connection doesn't get as good. And once the connection doesn't start getting good, it starts getting hot, and then that's where you run into problems with magnets because as soon as a magnet gets hot, it's no good. So. If you're going to use one of those button magnets to turn on and off, make sure every, after every time you dress it with a file or, you know, huh? take a piece of tape, make sure that there's no, you know, metal shavings on there. That's about the best advice I can give you. Uh, again, if you're just tuning in, we was talking a little bit earlier about our open house. Our open house is May 16th. We're going to be doing 400 pounds of crawfish. All you got to do is show up. We're going to be doing door prizes. We'll be having giveaways. Also, if you're a junior or a senior in high school, anywhere in, this, in the entire United States, if you want to come over here and participate in, our, in our, our welding competition we do for juniors and seniors, you know, if you come in first place, it's an automatic free ride to our school. Full tuition paid for. Um, if you participate, if you just come over and participate, we'll be giving uh, discounts on tuition. So come up here, join us for that. Hey, show them that, that uh, banner right there. Again, I don't, if y'all tuned in uh, last week, any, I uh, kind of went over our Central Gulf Industrial Alliance. This is our banner we got. I'm going to spin it a little bit and get us over here. Our gold level quality achievement, we've earned this th through CGIA. It's an endorsement we have. So all of these companies have come together to make it easier for students graduating out of school to help the work to develop uh, place, job placement for our students. Um, because of our graduates and stuff like that, we've earned this. Basically, if you come through our program, you graduate, and you apply for a job at any of these companies here, you know, they'll take you over someone that hasn't been through our program because of our endorsement we have with them. We've, we've joined their group and trying to help make it a, a lot easier to get jobs for welders. And it's just a, it's a really good program. A lot of our students have, have went and worked for a lot of these companies and done work a good little while with them and got a good name for themselves. And they've helped build our name. We appreciate every one of them. We want to thank them all. Um, so I'd like to uh, take a second I want to show y'all what Trey got in his stocking for Christmas this year y'all can see this tube right here it is full of sharp tungsten and somebody spent all that time sharpening this tungsten for him to waste on video. So we need to be thankful for the guys that sharpened all these tungsten. And if anybody's watching this that loves me, feel free to put that in my stocking when, when Christmas comes around. Heck no. I think he got his kids to do it. <laughs> Trey was giving a geometry lesson to his children on how to sharpen tungsten and get appropriate bevel edges on there. My side's perfect. Zero restriction of flow. That's what we call that. Am I green still? Can y'all still hear me good? Just making sure his mic check's still good. We had an issue last week with cutting in and out. Cameraman messed up. Anyway, the main thing is you just tie in on the inside, both both the inside wall, just like on a roof. Some of these aren't critical, some of them are. Do the same thing with a 